Hi guys, remember to subscribe to join our channel where we do a weekly podcast on Scooby-Doo called Smash or Pass, reviewing all the Scooby movies in order. Thanks and enjoy the video. So welcome to another video on the JV hey. and Millie channel. And today we are going to be unboxing these Scooby-Doo Monsters and Mysteries uh, Mysteries and Monsters trading cards. So, JB managed to find these in Australia really quite cheaply, so we're excited to be taking a look. Now, there are 24 packs in this box, and similarly to the packs that we've um, unboxed before on the channel, which you can check out the playlist of, um, they were the Scooby-Doo 2002 yeah. movie. Similarly to that, each pack will contain a sticker card as well. So we are going to take a look at these. Now, JB also managed to find the official binder for these. So we're going to be putting them into the card sleeves and then they will go in there. I mean, I am a bit worried slash disappointed because when I was looking at this set, I believe that there were some autograph cards that were like making me really excited. And I actually saw someone unbox one of these. Yeah. But like it stated on that box that there was a potential for autographs. And I think it was like a different name. They called it like a hobby box. So, oh, I don't know. I kind of think that I might have got the wrong one. I'm a bit nervous. I'm sorry, JB. But ultimately, I think they're really quite cute. So I think this is how it's supposed to be presented. If you take a look on the back here, it says that we are looking for 72 base cards. There should be a there should be nine sticker cards to collect and six sparkly cards. So as JB said, there are also some signatures in this series, but whether or not we'll get them, we don't know. So this is on the front, four cards and one sticker card per pack. So let's take a look. I think we have to open these with scissors. They're quite... Oh, they Maybe they are quite old. These are from 2003, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, you ready? So I think this is going to be the sticker card because of that roll thing there, but we're going to check those out. Oh, if that is how they signify sticker cards, that would be so much more easy, like so much easier than yeah. the 2002 one. Like, well, like we said, guys, check out that video because it was a nightmare trying to find the stickers. Let's turn this round. Oh, the pup named Scooby Doo. And like, wow, so. Like I said, yeah, it's marked on the back S4. So these ones have numbers as part of the base set. This one, S4, as the sticker set. That's good. That seems a lot easier. I like that. So let's move on to cap number two. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to try and open these without scissors because I'm always nervous that I'll cut the cards, but we'll see. Oh, this looks like card number one. Oh, like the, the picture card. Yeah, so this is like the introductory card. Mysteries and Monsters premium trading card. Um, America's longest running animated comedy mystery show. Four kids in a clumsy chicken hearted Great Dane captured the country's imagination and never let go. Every episode saw Shaggy, Sco uh, Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, Fred, Daphne and Velma face up to frights, freaks and, fan and phantoms, exposing scams and shams, crooks and creeps and solving crimes and still managing to find the time to chow down on everything edible imaginable. So I really like that introductory card. Um, oh yeah, it's amazing. Another Ooh. mystery solved. So do we think this is, oh, a trivia question. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The Scooby-Doo gang call themselves Mystery Inc. in the series. Scooby-Doo, where are you? What do they call themselves in later series? So if you want to answer that, I guess it'd be interesting to get your answers in the comments, I want to say. Yeah. Oh, okay. Scooby-Doo is the sticker card. There we go. Sticker number five, so... Currently, no repeats with that, which is obviously really good. So it'd be really nice if you could try and get all eight of the sticker cards from this box. Also, maybe some of the shiny cards too. So we will see. Now, what's really interesting is there seems to be a price on the front of these. So obviously it was dollars, so that looks like it was 99 cents for a pack. Yeah, so I don't know if this was bought from America 
to Australia, or if these just like were released in Australia as well. Oh, that's from the Alien Invaders. That is so cool. We recently reviewed that movie um, on our Smash Our Pass podcast. We're working through the movies, so check that out, guys. Here we go. And here's the last card of the set, which is the checklist. So you can see, um, you can yeah, you can see which ones you've collected, and we have the Daphne the Daphne sticker. So here's that one. Stick this Scooby Doo sticker on your notebook locker anywhere you want to add some school. It's cool Scooby Doo fun. Side. I guess another red flag for me in hindsight, which I really should have been paying attention to, is that these this twenty four packs in this box, whereas usually it's a thirty six booster box thing. But I don't know if there's any like real differences with that. But I like the style of these cards because we recently got oh, I love the episode. like um series the complete series one and two. Ooh. Ooh, behind the scenes, so you can see some of the sketches here. That creepy cemetery. Ooh. Oh, they're really cool. It's amazing. So I feel like I don't want to focus in on the cards too much and like read every word unless one's particularly standing out. Like here you have the Shaggy Fact card, age 17, height 6 feet. Um, phrases, here we go again, like wow, zoinks, loves food. So yeah, like interesting facts there. JB suggested that we could do a showcase of each one of the folders that we're doing when they're fully collected. Oh, little sticker card. Um, so maybe we'll look at the cards in a little bit more depth then, or if you want us to look at them in more depth, as we said, JD has ordered, I think, three of these boxes, so what we could do is, we, in one of the next boxes, we could literally, like, read it all out, so let us know if that is something you'd like to see. Okay, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Look at that! Literally, like, an old TV and you'd be start watching that, that's so cool. Ooh. Where are you? The show that started it all each week in 1969-1970. Scooby-Doo, Shaggy Fred, Daphne and Velma travel to a new location to stumble onto a mystery involving a frightful fiend or menacing monster. Scrappy! Yes! See, you wouldn't see this in, like, modern-day Scooby-Doo no. now, would you? Because I feel like they've, like, retconned Scrappy out of oh. everything. Yeah, I feel like now they've made them a villain, there's no going back, is there? I don't know. I mean, it's different from live like live action to like the animation, but even I think in like the third like Curse of the Thirteenth Ghost, they've like retconned them out, and it's a bit of a shame because I don't think they're as bad as a lot of people were saying. But again, I think it's been a while since I've watched any like series of Scrappy. Yeah. Ooh, a little mystery machine profile card there as well. I really like it. Um, in the last set as well, they incorporated the mystery machine in what they were doing, so that's really nice. Like almost in the character cards. I guess that wraps up another mystery. Okay, so here we have the Fred sticker card too. So we're certainly getting through the variants of the sticker cards. I don't think we've had any repeats, which is exactly what we wanted to see. But we haven't yet seen a hollow card, so I guess we're hoping for something like that. So Scooby-Doo stats. So how many Scooby-Doo was at uh, scooby Dunn was in? Yabadoo, Dusty, Vincent Van Gogh, Flim Flam, and Scooby-Doo. Ooh, little villain card there. Another behind the scenes. So here we have some drawings of Daphne from different angles. Daphne was a really good character. I think they were my favourite. Scooby snack. Okay, that's cool. I wonder how many packs in total you've like opened on the channel. Like of, of everything combined. It's got to be about a thousand, hasn't it? Yeah, I think at this point. stats. Oh, a winter one. Down the bow. Scooby and Scrappy. See, they're showcasing Scrappy quite a lot, so it's good to see this because, like we said, in the more recent ones. Oh my gosh, it's Velma. I'm quite looking forward to the fact card for Velma. Just because she's supposed to be quite different to the others that are a bit younger and all that kind of thing. I mean, I think this is fantastic. Just like some of these behind the scenes mm. stuff alone is amazing. Look at this. Behind the scenes, and this is the script. It says... Is that Don Mezzer? Scooby-Doo, where are you? A, a clue for Scooby-Doo, page three. And yeah, Don Mezzer. That's amazing. actually really cool. That is incredible. Let me take a look at that. We have who character design and where backgrounds for the mystery solved. Now, the script tells us... The what a script is a story written okay 
Another mystery solved. Scooby-Doo Spooks. Oh, there's like two behind the scenes Another, there. Yeah, character design. That's amazing. And the Mystery Machine sticker card. Okay. So I feel like we're pretty much halfway there with the packs. Still to find a hollow. I'm hoping that it's guaranteed you'll get at least one per box, but I'm not too sure on the pull rates. Oh. There's the hollow. Okay, guys. So here we have a little character design for the Black Knight. And here we have our first hollow. It is Fred. That's a good card, right? I like that a lot. I wonder if, I mean, I assume that there'll be all of the gang in that kind of hollow. Yeah, one. I imagine so. Zoinks. So we got a hollow card, guys. Let us know what you think. If you've got this set yourself, let us know about the other hollows, which ones you like. Like we said, we will be unboxing some more of these. So hopefully we will find some different variants. Here we've got a Scooby card. Is this the Abominable Oh yeah, that's kind of creepy. Another mystery solved card. So this is another trivia question. Whose father gave money to start Mystery Inc? The answer is on this picture somewhere. <laughs> and here we go, like wow. So we are getting a few repeats now. I'm starting to think that we might be close to completing the collection now. I mean, I know with the um, other Ooh, booster box I we did, did something Ooh, interesting. a little hollow. So yeah, the other booster box that we did for the first live action, you're guaranteed the full set from the box, so we could be there with this. So, Scooby-Doo crew. Yay! A little Scooby hollow. So now, like you said, I think we're going to be looking at getting the complete set for the gang. Hopefully a mystery machine as well. I'm trying to remember how many it said there were. Oh my gosh, I've not seen this episode for so long. Oh, and Scooby Dooby Doo as the sticker again. That's really sweet. I was looking forward to their fact card, so here we have it. Velma Dinkley, they are 16, they're 4 foot 9, favourite phrase Jinkies. Okay, like some intellectual challenges, reviewing the clues of the mystery after the case is solved. They dislike not recognising a clue when it first appears. Okay. Gosh, some of these episodes I've not seen them for oh. so long. Yeah, I agree. Some good memories. Daphne sticker. It's so good to be able to pick the sticker cards out because if you think about it, these cards I want to say came out about 2000, would I be right? It's maybe? 2003, I think. Maybe. 2003. So to still get sticker cards that haven't been like, you know, the back all peeled off, stuck on the wall and things, just to see them like that, like 18 years later, is incredible. Oh my god. We actually, we actually got oh, yeah. a Playmobil figure of this character oh, a lot while ago. Oh. So we were working on a Scooby shelf that I guess we'll show in a later video. So stick around on the channel for that. I guess that wraps up another mystery. So we're on repeat for the sticker cards. Like I said, though, we can probably use them for something like fun. Like I said, maybe on the shelf or something. Flim-flam. Okay, there's a little repeat there. We have another Scrappy-Doo profile card. Well, again, repeats on the stickers now. So I feel like we must be quite close to completing it now with the stickers and base set. So I guess the booster box has been good. To that end, we are predominantly looking for the hollows now, I think. Oh, look at that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there are a few more cards that we needed, look. Another mystery solved. What is Scrappy-Doo's favourite saying? And Scooby Snacks. Okay, a few packs left now. And then that'll wrap it up for the unboxing this week, remember? Oh, a little repeat of the cemetery sketch. 
remember for more scooby-doo related content we will be posting on saturday the smash or pass podcast this week we are going to take a look at the cyber chase so make sure you subscribe for that i mean i always get nervous when you like specifically say the next episode because it means that i need to get these out literally within that time it's okay you've got you've got a day yeah <laughs> Ooh, that was a good episode another mystery solved where is Scooby Dum from? Oh, I actually don't so, know. So you see here the numbers. Yeah. Um, there is corresponding letters on the cards. Not that card. Let's look at this card. Yeah, this card. So if you get the number of the card, you'll have a letter in the bottom and spell out the answers. Oh. So that's quite a cool little like functionality. If you don't know the answers for these things, some sketches there of all Scooby's expressions. They do do some amazing Scooby expressions. I really like the um. You know this rattlesnake thing when we were doing the Alien Invaders movie last week? Yeah. Okay, so I think we're on the last five packs, guys. So let's see if we can get one more hollow. I know that in the last boxes we did of the, of the Scooby-Doo live action, we managed to get three hollows per box. So another mystery solved. We've already seen that one. Like, whoa. I do like the packs as well, they're very vibrant and true to form. Yeah, I mean we do try and keep the, some of the packs and like, just in the folder with them, because obviously they're just incredible that they're still intact, though they were still intact until we opened them. Okay, like we say, we're seeing some repeats here. Three packs left, I think, JB. So let's bring them out. Oh, four packs, I didn't see that middle one, so that was hiding, we'll put that to the back. It could be that that's a lucky colour. Little Scooby Doo profile card. And another Daphne sticker. Okay, so oh, I don't really recognise that one. No, I feel like. Okay, so we are still getting some new cards, and we get two mystery solved cards in this one. In a pub named Scooby-Doo, what is Freddy's favourite magazine? And in later series, what is Velma's profession? Oh, colour palettes. Behind the scenes. Zoinks. Okay. Last two packs, guys. Oh. oh my gosh, we did it guys, there's another hollow and not one of them have been a repeat. So that is amazing. We have Scooby, we have Shaggy, we have Fred. We're guessing we're gonna need a Velma and Daphne. I'm just taking a look at the back. It says six sparkly cards, so we're to presume the other one will be the mystery machine, I think. I reckon so. So three down, three to go, two boxes on the way to complete that. Another sticker card for Velma. Whoa. Okay, a little Black Knight card. I feel like we're still seeing some new ones. The Black Knight in this one, I feel like we've not got yet. Oh, wow, storyboards. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at... Sorry, I'll cover that up for now. The little Fred profile. They're 16 too. I always thought they were older than Velma. Yeah, I think we got some toys on in the back of it. It was like... Yeah. So here's your little storyboard, JV. Wow, that's awesome. I like that a lot. And the final sticker for this pack is Ralph. So guys, I think we did really quite well. I feel like we've pretty much almost completed the stickers and the base set. And we have the hollows there as well, which is incredible. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please make sure to go and check out our other Scooby unboxings from the first live action movie some figures as well and also remember to check out the smash or pass podcast again airing every saturday so guys thank you so much and remember if you're also interested in nintendo content we have some of that on the channel too so for all that amazing content please make sure to like comment and subscribe jb and miller